The KSO Show. I'm Derek Young. Here, I'm joined by Grant Flanders. You're listening to us talk about some defensive ends, just as we shared the last time. We're going to rotate to the defensive side of the ball as we kind of bounce back and forth here. Uh, position coach by Buddy Wyatt. They are probably losing the biggest playmaker on the defensive side from a year ago in Wyatt Hubert. He was obviously drafted in the to the NFL by the Cincinnati Bengals, so they're going to lose him. Uh, do they have the ammunition at this position to be able to replace his production? I think so, but I also think it's fair for people to question that and to wonder that because I think that's the next biggest question mark after linebacker on the defensive side of the ball. Um, because, yeah, you're losing a guy like Wyatt Hubert whose skill and ability cannot be understated. And right now I do not believe, I don't think anyone can really believe um, that any, that right now there's a guy on the team this season that can put forth that kind of production that Wyatt Hubert was able to do last season. No, I think that's I think that's a fair statement, and I think that they'll probably probably try to do it by not with one person, but with multiple players. Yep. I think they'll do a little bit of a committee approach. You'll still see quite a bit of rotation at this particular position. Boo Massey obviously returns. He's a super senior, much like Skylar Thompson, John McPherson. Etc. So you'll you'll bring back his experience and his savviness and his leadership. You hope um, probably not guaranteed a starting spot. He's probably duking it out, so to speak. Not, not with Khalid Duke <laughs> no either. No pun intended. Yeah, yeah. Not, no pun intended. <laughs> and then not even duking it out with Khalid Duke. Khalid Duke's probably got one starting spot nailed down. It's probably between Boom Massey and Felix Onadike. I think you'll also see um, not true freshman, but a second year player who didn't see the field last year as the potential to maybe make an impact at the defensive end position this year. And Spencer Trussell is certainly someone that played a little bit last year and wasn't, too, wasn't half bad. He might be someone that is relied upon even a little bit more this year as there are some whispers within the program that certainly think that he's on the upward trajectory of perhaps more playing time. A guy that we haven't heard a whole lot about that did play last year is Kiermari Gaines. He played both inside and outside. But if, you know, Chatter certainly answers from whether it be coaches or players or any indication um, he's almost been non-existent at this point in time in fall camp so that's an interesting thing I guess if you had to lean one way or the other this is the next probably talking point to discuss amongst the defensive ends Flando is Massey or King Felix what are we thinking here at the other defensive end spot because mm -hmm. I do believe Khalid Duke certainly got one spot nailed down yeah absolutely um that's going to be the biggest question mark right there. And I think the closer we get to the season, I've kind of been a boom guy all off season, but the closer we get to the season, I, I kind of want to go with King Felix because not only does he have tremendous potential with the body he has and, you know, just the, the flashes he showed last season in, in some of the games that he played. Um, I think this could be a breakout season for him and, I don't really see a scenario, honestly, the more closer we get to the season where where Boom takes that starting role unless Anna DK gets injured because that's how confident I'm starting to get with this young guy because, um, you know, coaches have, you know, he hasn't been gushed over, but but coaches have said he's been progressing well and he's doing well uh, in the offseason. The things that they want to see from him from a progression standpoint, we've seen him live at, you know, uh, K-State football camps where they host recruits and stuff. And he looks the part right now. He looks even, you know, just in better shape and really big still. Um, c compared to last year, he was a big man, but I think he's more refined this year, but still, you know, has good muscle and good strength. The, the, the question mark is if he can become that dynamic guy this season where he's in the backfield and creating havoc every play, like a, like a Wyatt Huber or close to it, because that will be important. Um, and I don't know if he's there yet. I think he is a future stud star, kind of like White Hubert was. I mean, he has that potential to get there one day. But um, I just don't know if he's going to be elite this season. But I do expect him to start on that other side of uh, Khalid Duke. What you got? Even even if it isn't right away, I do think Ana DK is probably a starter at defensive end at some point this season. It might not be out the shoot. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. They might just go with Massey out the gate and let Ana DK slowly settle into a starting role as the season goes on. I could see it being played out that way. I do think Khalid Duke's probably the biggest playmaker along the defensive line. 
unless when we get the defensive tackles, we start talking about Timmy Horn, then potentially there's there's that conversation. But playmaker wise along the defensive line, it's probably Khalid Duke. And he's going to have to take a jump from where he was last season when he was, you know, kind of the bee's knees and then a guy getting all the hype in the offseason as someone who was going to break out. He was great early, kind of sagged off at the end of the last season, faded a little bit down the stretch, probably because some of these young players, they have to get used to be playing this physical brand, physical conference football um, for that duration of period of time. You see it in basketball, too. A lot of young players do fade off, do trickle trickle down as the season mm -hmm. proceeds forward and I think you saw that from Khalid Duke so I think you have to hope from him just maybe a more complete season from start to finish but if we're yep. talking about someone that can make the for who's that Khalid Duke who's that next guy it probably is Felix even if it's on the other side the other edge player and and I think that we do see him take that spot away from Boone Massey I'm just not sure it comes as quickly as game one Mm -hmm. um, that'll obviously be uh, a discussion point, be a topic to, that we're probably still um, conversing about in a week, in, in two weeks before we get to Arlington because I don't think we have those answers at this point in time. Those are three guys we know are going to play. I think we know Nate Matlack will play. How much that, that remains to be seen. Will we see Kamari Gaines? That remains to be seen. How much will Spencer Trussell play? That remains to be seen. But like I said at the beginning, you know, they're, they're trying to replace the production of a Wyatt Hubert at this point. That's probably not going to be done with one player. It's going to be done by committee, whether it be Boone, whether it be Trussell, whether it be Onadike, um, even Khalid Duke. And Khalid Duke's probably going to have to be the one that disrupts the quarterback and affects the quarterback the most out of this group. That's the defensive ends. We still have to talk about the defensive tackles. That's probably coming in a later segment, obviously, coached by Mike Tuiasa Sopo. The defensive ends are not in a dangerous place. It's still a very healthy room. They just might not have the same firepower that they did last season without the bullet of Wyatt Hubert, you know, um, in the gun. They don't have that. The, the, they're, they're not, they don't have as powerful bullets, but they might have more bullets. So we'll see how that manifests itself throughout the season. It might be a good thing, it might be a bad thing, but by the end of the year, this might be one of the best groups uh, on the entire team. Definitely the defense, I think, because I think the secondary still, you know, you have to wonder how some of the pieces fit into the puzzle in terms of combinations. Um, There's still some, well, definitely a lack of firepower at linebacker, but the defensive end, because it has a future and the and the present isn't, isn't too shabby, I mm -hmm. think has a chance to maybe be the best a position group on the defense by the end uh, by the end of the season but the, the, we have some interesting positions still to talk about when it comes to defense with defensive tackle coached by Mike Tuiasa Sopo and then the corners um, by Van Malone and if you hang with us throughout the rest of fall camp you'll hear more about those position groups for Grand Flanders I'm Derek Young tell your friends <laughs>